Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier today, we had a look at the StatCounter desktop browser market share worldwide. And recently, StatCounter have also released their desktop Windows version market share worldwide for the month of May 2023. So if you are interested, just to have a quick look um, as to the differences between the April compared to the May 2023 survey results um, by StatCounter. And always remember that um, these survey results by the different companies, obviously they use different um, methods to get to their actual results. So um, we always take it with a pinch of salt and also remember um, that although it's not 100% accurate, will give us a good indication as to the different percentages. Now, Windows XP is, is still hanging on and doesn't seem to be going anywhere too fast. And believe it or not, um, very soon we will be kind of celebrating, so to speak, the 10 years since the end of uh, extended support for Windows XP. And nonetheless, XP, um, even in my region of the world, still remains in some businesses, businesses a popular um, operating system, believe it or not. And Windows XP doesn't seem to be going anywhere just yet. And actually, um, although it has decreased slightly um, in its market share from April to May, it was 0.35% in April and now 0.32% in May. Although it has decreased slightly, it seems that it may overtake the original um, release of Windows 8, which is consistently falling. And it looks like soon that Windows XP will move into fifth place and Windows 8 will be slotted into sixth place at the back. So that's going to be an interesting one to watch between Windows XP and Windows 8. And talking about the original release, um, uh, Windows 8 in April was 0.44% and has now dropped to 0.37%. So I think Windows 8 soon will move into sixth place. Windows 8.1 um, has also dropped from 0.85 slightly to 0.72%. And um, Windows 7, once again, has uh, dropped. And that's obviously because um, Microsoft ended the extended security update program earlier this year in January 2023. And I think um, because of that, because Windows 7 now is, has totally reached its end of life, when it, according to Microsoft. So I think this is going to steadily decrease from month to month. But nonetheless, Windows 7, 8.18, Windows XP, as many of you know, all of these are unsupported versions of Windows. So these are going to be interesting to see where they all land up in the coming months. Now, for April, when I did post the previous video, um, Windows 11 had actually reached an all-time high in its market share and uh, um, had reached over 23% at 23.01% um, in April. But now... A slight decrease for May, 22.95%, but steadily does uh, increase in its market share. And Windows 10, as always, still very dominant out in front. And in April was on 71.45% and now is on 71.9%. And I actually think um, the closer we get to the 14th of October, 2025, which according to Microsoft will be the uh, end of support date for Windows 10, I think this figure will start decreasing as the months go by. Now, talking about that, if we head over to the chart provided, uh, this is um, Windows 10 here, right at the top. And you can actually see that over the last two to three months, it's starting to nosedive slightly. And this one year in the powder blue is actually Windows 11, which over the last year has been increasing steadily every month. So it almost looks like one day in the future, these two graph these two lines on the graph are actually going to um, cross over and it'll be interesting to see when that happens because obviously, as I have been posting, we are possibly expecting to get a Windows 12 rolling out, although not confirmed, but there is a strong possibility we could be getting a Windows 12 rolling out in the latter half of 2024. So it'll be interesting to see um, if and when a Windows 12 lands up in the mix where that will start with its market share. But nonetheless, as it is now, Windows 10 seems to be slightly dropping, although it's still dominant. Windows 11 slowly gaining. And I think as we get closer to the end of support date, as mentioned, of Windows 10, um, Windows 11's market share will increase significantly. And um, yeah, we have uh, in the light orange, this is Windows 7. And as we can see from December last year, has been decreasing basically every month. 
And then um, 8.18 and Windows XP have kind of plateaued here over the last two to three months with the other versions of Windows here right at the bottom. So nonetheless, that's the StatCounter Global Stats survey results um, for the month of May 2023 when it comes to the desktop Windows version market share worldwide. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.